the sun didn't exist. Okay, there was a period when the sun didn't exist. And so before the sun came into existence, then God was not even the father because it was no, he didn't have no begotten of, of God. So he was just God. He was just the almighty. And the, you know, and so, you know, he was trying to bring this Serapis image to reality that he's not a part of the all in all. He's not equal with the all in all. Y'all trying to make Serapis equal with the all father, okay? By saying he's the son, because when we understand Horus, we know that Horus is the son, the S-U-N. You see what I'm saying? And when you see Horus as a child, then that's African people, you know, seeing, seeing the son in ourselves, seeing the, uh, the greater creative masculine feminine in energy of the all in ourselves, that's the Heru you see. But to try to make him part of the all in all, see, you trying to put make yourself a God on this planet, white boy, and you trying to insert yourself into the all, the Isis is a goddess, okay? She's a goddess, she represents the, the, the Milky Way, she represents the cosmos, okay? That's why you could you hear of the uh, she's the Hathor goddess. That's why you hear the cosmos as the Milky Way. You see, God is new. See, God is new. There's also Isis. Okay, that's a cosmic uh uh image. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the earthly image, which which is us. But we understand when we talking about the all and all. You understand what I'm saying? We understand the difference between the all, and we are part of the all, but we're not the all. We didn't create this. We are part of creation. Even though there's masculine and feminine energy in the universe, we didn't bring this here, okay? Something greater than even us brought this here. And so he's trying to take credit for creation. This motherfucker trying to take over our whole thinking process. And so Aries say, no, nah, we can't have this. We can't have this. This, this creature that y'all, he's a creature. He's a created creature. Okay, that's exactly. And so they put Aries ass up out of there. Okay. And so even to today, you know, because they know the originals was the African, you know, Isis and, you know, Osiris that you see here that in many times uh, they just continue to keep them black. You see, that's Diana. You see uh, Peter. They say that's Peter. You understand what I'm saying? But many people say it's Jupiter, okay? And he got on the crown of Osiris. You know, then you got the pale one for those that, you know, just into their white supremacy, you know, for real, for real. But in reality, they psyche know that the original one was Osiris and Isis the black mother and black father of all creation, okay? So when you're looking at to the left, you see the original. Now in the middle is the, is, uh, ice, uh, the European Isis. You see Hippocrates as the child in the middle and you see Serapis. See, there's Naga. See, they done stole the Naga from them. See, they done stole the Naga from them. And then it went to Mary, uh, Jesus, and, and, and Joseph. You understand what I'm saying? Then see, and then you can see that they, you know, they didn't lost, they, you know, the only one that got divinity is uh, Jesus. See, and that's where the argument came up. How the hell a woman, a human woman, gonna have God? You know what I'm saying? And that's where a lot of the arguments was coming from. You see what I'm saying? And you got Joseph supposed to be, and you you, you didn't took Osiris out. You didn't took you didn't took uh, Mary out, and you know took Isis out and made Mary. You understand what I'm saying? But the son that y'all walk is uh, is the son of God. How the fuck is what happened? What happened to the divine goddess? What happened to her? Took her out of the story. You see what I'm saying? And then you got a spirit that's happening because. You can't show the truth that Osiris, the All Father, is a black deity. 
can't show that. So y'all then took him out. And so the only one divine in the image is Jesus. So you see right there the contradiction. But it was first uh, Serapis, Hippocrates, and European Isis that uh, propelled them. But see, they looking for a human God. See, they want to be worshipped. So you got the, you know, so you, you know, you, in order for you to have, be human and God, you got to have a human mother. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, you didn't, you, you had to take Isis out to give him a human nature. You had to give him a human nature because the white man want to be worshipped. Before that, it was just a spiritual story. It's about the spirit. Yes, we as black people are the inheritors of that story. You understand what I'm saying? But we talking about the divine all in all. See, they wanted to be worshipped as the all in all. And so, you know, but they got caught up. They got caught up in the story because now you got Jesus being God, yet his mama is human. You know, you didn't, you, God then came down and slept with his mama, and uh, which means he half human. How the hell, I mean, half God. He can't be all God. How the hell he gonna be all God and his mama? Half of them is human. You see what I'm saying? So he can't be the all in all. And that's what Aries was saying, saying this is a created creature. At some point in time, he, okay, y'all created this motherfucker. So Hippocrates became the, 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 uh, the, the concept for Jesus as the son, okay, as the S-O-N. But he, originally, it was the S-U-N, okay? Originally, it was the S-U-N. So you see Hippocrates right there. You see Serapis and Isis, okay? Hippocrates and who became this. You see, so you see the sunburst behind the head of baby Jesus, okay? So you see that's what it was. Hippocrates is the sun, and I'm going to show you that. And so you see him in there today. You understand? This ain't from no Jesus or no death. This is, was back when the Romans was worshiping uh, Serapis, Isis, and Hippocrates. This is what that is, okay? This is exactly, and he kissing his baby, knowing that they've been doing this shit for the last thousand years before it was a Bible or anything else, okay? Let me keep it moving. So you didn't see, and it went from the African. Now, a lot of the cathedrals still got a black Mary and a black Jesus. They keep it 100. You understand what I'm saying? But it still look European. You understand what I'm saying? So it ain't 100. But you can see right there, Jesus got an afro. That one in Russia. Okay? That one in Russia. And then some just can't tell the truth at all. You understand what I'm saying? So they keep the white one. This is in Bethlehem. This is in the, uh, this is in the church of the nativity. Okay? And you can see the one in, in, uh, in Russia is copied after the one, and that one all black. You can see the afro up there and everything. Now, this is, is the where the cave where Jesus was supposedly born. Okay, we know this shit ain't true. This goddamn church ain't even at all. You see what I'm saying? They built that damn church after the damn crusades. You understand what I'm saying? So for people to think that in that church is where the cave of a Jesus Christ you can see that they, you know, they create what they need to perpetuate the mythology. Okay, so when you go down in that uh, cave, you will see that right there is where they say where Jesus was born. But I thought he was born in a manger. Okay, I thought he was born in a manger. But here they say he was born in a cave. Now, if you look above the black Madonna and child, you see a white Jesus. You know, they don't even know what the fuck they want. They so confused. And you got so many beliefs in this shit to where there is no uniformity in it. It never was no uniformity because they've been arguing. The, the East been arguing against the West. The West been arguing against the East. You understand what I'm saying? So you see them right here with the Black Madonna. You understand the Black... They know it's ISIS. The Romans been worshiping ISIS before Mary. You understand what I'm saying? So they know exactly who it is. Okay? And you can see both Pope. This is 
down in the uh in the uh uh Vatican. This is down in so they got more and they got them all over the place. When you go to any uh Catholic church anywhere in the world, a lot of them got that black Madonna. Okay, you see right there another one. I don't know if he in Spain. The one to the right, I'm thinking, is in Spain. No matter, no, it's in France. You know what I'm saying? So they they got them. That that one right there is in Poland. That's the lady of, of Chesakow. And then Saint John, uh, John Paul was from Poland. You understand what I'm saying? So here it is, and we talk about nigger and whatever, whatever. And right there, you got a uh, nigger, nigger, some said Formosa, the black Madonna. That's what it said. That one right there, if I'm not mistaken, is in Spain. So now you see, now they didn't fuck the whole thing up. Now they got God the Son, they got God the Father, and they didn't just put Mary up out of it. They got the Holy Ghost up here. And a lot of people don't understand that's our set. And our set is shown with wings. And so they didn't clip Mary wings. See, the what what they call the Holy Ghost is actually the spot for the mother goddess. You understand what I'm saying? So they didn't demo, even though they worship Mary through the back door, they still worship, but they homosexuals and they ain't never had no woman as no God. You know what I'm saying? So they demoted her, but they but they still got a love for that black woman. You know, I got to say that. Them motherfuckers know who the mother of civilization is. And that's why they, but they want our woman. And you, that's why you see that they took Osiris out of the Trinity and inserted Serapis, because he wanted our woman, okay? And so when he puts the black Madonna as the choice of Madonnas, they demoted the damn white, you know, you know what I'm saying? The white Mary, they didn't demote it up. Because I said, you, I'm going to show you. See, now you see Mary with the wings. Now I'm going to show you. See, the I said, I got a better, clearer one. You see, I said with the wings, okay? They didn't clip Mary wings. You know, the wings is her divinity as a goddess. She's no longer a goddess, okay? So they didn't clip her wings, and they got what they call the Holy Spirit. Now the Father's supposed to be a spirit too. So how in the hell are you going to have two damn Holy Spirits? If the Father is a spirit and the Father is holy, then the Father is also a Holy Spirit. Why you got so many damn Holy Spirit? That's like a whole, that's like, a, you know, that's only characteristics, but the true title is missing. Who, you know, the, the, uh, the Son is supposed to be a Holy Spirit, okay, before he come into the flesh. So, yeah, you holy and you a spirit, but what's your title, okay? And so they didn't demote it. Isis from the Trinity. Okay, they didn't demote it, Mary. She's not a goddess. Our set was a goddess. So you can see right there. This is at uh, this is at uh, Dendera, if I'm not mistaken. And this is at the Mamizi, and you can see Isis in the uh, papyrus swamps feeding uh Heru. Okay, and you can see Mary and everything that they do. The Catholics do. They didn't copy from Egypt, and then. You got to ask yourself, what do you really believe? Pope John Paul II reaching out to the Egyptian obelisk. And you got to ask yourself, if they really believe in one single God, why do they have Egyptian obelisks the cross on top of it? Knowing damn well, unless they got what you call the Catholicism and Christianity from ancient Egypt. And I'm going to show you that that's exactly, even when you look at even the Protestant church, when you see the steeple with the, the, the cross at the top, they got it from the Catholics because all it is, the steeple is only the obelisk. And you see, they put the, the cross at the top of the obelisk, so they put the cross at the top of the steeple. That's all that it is. And you see the sun windows representing a sun temple. That's all that it is. The very symbols that they got, they got from ancient Egypt. And that's why I took you to Alexandria first so you can see it. Now, when you look to the right, you see the uh, Egyptian temple, which is the mother of the, the, the cathedrals, the basilicas, okay? The Catholic basilicas. And I'm going to show you that. 
And so in this particular basilica, the, the two obelisks that will be in front of the Egyptian temple is built right into the cathedral, okay? And this is symbolic all across Christianity. If you look at the, to the right, I mean, to the left, you see the Egyptian temple. I'm gonna show you the pylons. That is also a part of, of the church of Notre Dame, okay? I'm gonna show you that. So you see that the obelisks are built right in to the church as towers, okay? But they symbolic of the, and then when you come to, uh, to St. Peter's, they got rows of obelisks leading up to the one in the middle but they not the you know they are they uh they are uh they are european made but they got a row of obelisks leading all the way down to the basilica with the one true obelisk from ancient egypt in the middle okay and you can see even in uh the taj mahal that the two that the towers on the sides of this Taj Mahal is obelisks, and you can see that's where they got the the Indians got their Roman architecture from. Okay, that's the dome that come out of Rome. Okay, and so even today, Rome got so many obelisks. Okay, this this particular obelisk right here is uh, the largest standing ancient Egyptian obelisk in the world. It weighed four hundred originally weighing around 455 tons. It was taken from the temple of Amun in Karnak and brought to Alexandria with another obelisk by Constantius II and brought on to uh, brought on his own from there to Rome in 357 AD, okay? To decorate uh, the Circus Maximus, okay? Found in three pieces in 1586, Seven restored by Pope Sixtus the uh, the fifth. Okay, it's restored by the Pope. Now, what the hell is a Pope restoring an ancient Egyptian obelisk? This one right here. Uh, this is the one that's uh, at the Vatican. Okay, this is the one at the Vatican. This is another one. Okay. Uh, was erected at Circus Maximus, okay? Now this is another one, taken from Heliopolis, okay? And it uh, was originally at Campus Martius, okay? This one again, this was the uh, Egyptian obelisk in Piazza della Rotonda in Rome, okay? Orig this one was originally one of a pair brought from Cyrus by uh, Diocletian. Okay, erected by Pope Alexander uh, the Seventh. If I'm saying that right, I think it's seven. Uh huh. And then here you go, the last one, and they got some more. But I think those the ones they got were made. They were uh, they were uh, brought from Egypt, but they were made to be brought to Rome. They weren't tore down. These were tore down from Egyptian temples. Okay, and then so they got about 12, 13 obelisks from ancient Egypt in Rome. Okay, so that should be clear evidence of how they venerated and worshiped ancient Egypt. Okay, here's another one. So we can go on and on. And then you think it's just the one at the Vatican, and it's not. They got Egyptian obelisks all over goddamn Rome. So when you're looking at Osiris, you look at the crown, we get to the root of it. Because y'all trying to replace the God Osiris, and we're gonna show you exactly who he belonged to. You understand that he is an African of African uh, royalty, of, was a, you know, because all of the Pharaohs took the crown of Osiris. If you look at it, the crown of Osiris, it's the crown of Upper Egypt, okay? And so that's the most profound crown in ancient Egypt, the, the crown of Upper Egypt. And you can see that many of our people still wear their hairstyle today. You don't just make no crown like that for no damn reason. You know, people make hats based on their hairstyle. Okay, if you got a low haircut, you wear a do-rag. If you got uh, dreadlocks, then you see the bag type where you can put your 
you know, put your locks in, you know, so you make a, a crown uh, comparable to hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? So you can see that this right here, that Osiris came from the South, that he's of African bloodline. We know this, okay? And you could even see that one of the crowd, this is from Benin. You can see this before Christianity, before Catholicism, okay? They didn't went down in Africa, not just in uh, Egypt, but also in West Africa and saw uh, divinity and saw royalty unlike they ever seen in their life. And they mimic a lot of things from Africa that we didn't know. And then you got some nigga, instead of that man not, you know, look just like the damn statue. Got the same, the hat is one and the same. There's no doubt about it. This is coming out of Benin, West Africa. You understand, one of the great nations of Africa. And so instead of that man, you know, emulating his ancestor, as black as he is, he go and mimic the damn Pope. See, that's the sadness of it. And you see this crown that they, they got from Osiris. They got it from, now they got more than one crown, but this particular crown they got from Osiris. And the fact that Osiris, the African kings, was the first king that ever sat on the throne, showed the world how to sit on the throne. This was the first divine king. And so it's a political leader and spiritual leader. A spiritual leader. He wasn't divinely ordained. A Constantine said God came to him in a dream, but that's some made up shit right there, okay? From day one, the Pharaoh was not only the head of the state, but he was the representation of Osiris. He was the Heru king. And so you see the so-called Peter sitting in Rome is nothing but a mimic of the great God, the great black God, Osiris. Okay, now let me move through this. Okay, and so when you look at this, this white boy at the bottom mimicking the black guy, you know who he's mimicking. He know who the real and true living God is. He know that the black man and the black woman is the deities on this planet, but he ain't gonna tell you that because he know that he after that we come to that reality the only thing for us to do is to assume power, to get his ass out of power. But he but he can't deny the truth. He cannot deny the truth, but he still want to stay in power because he know once he come out of power, he going to go right back up into them goddamn cave where he come from. Not only is Osiris sitting on the throne, you can see he's under a canopy. This is where you get St. Peter's canopy from. Okay, this is where you get the canopy from. Okay, he's also under a canopy. If you look right here, you see the canopy, and so this is where you get uh, the throne of Peter. Peter ain't got no goddamn throne. How in the hell is Peter gonna have a goddamn throne? Hear me out. How's Peter gonna have a throne and them motherfuckers was outlawed? You see what I'm saying? They have been outlawed in Rome for up and got down till 313 AD. So where the fuck was his throne at? In the sewer? Because they was in the sewers, okay? They was in the goddamn sewers. So, and I'm, so you looking at, when you come to the hall of my eye, you know, and you know, when you come to the hall of my eye, You'll see Anubis and you'll see Heru with the keys to heaven. So St. Peter was said to have the keys to heaven, okay, which is another symbol, symbolism that was stole from Africa, okay? Now, here we go. Now, when, you, when I show you the layout of the temple, okay, now the aisle leading down to the canopy or the throne of St. Peter is called what? The nave, okay? The nave leads to the notes, and the notes is the holy of holies, okay? That's where 
the statue of the deity would be. Okay, so this is to the right, that's the temple of Horus at Ephu. And in that uh, Nos, which is a small like sanctuary, would have been a statue of Horus. It's been removed. Okay, and so, you know, when they had their ceremony, they would, you know, put the statue in the ark, and then ceremonially, the ark would be laid down the name. Okay, and what do you, with, which you see the root is navigation, okay, which is symbolic to the, uh, the uh, spiritual Milky Way. Whether you know the, the the king and his afterlife, you will see him selling in the uh, you know, if you saw a Ra, you will see him in his celestial ark selling through the Milky Way. And so this is symbolic of you know, hey Ru taking his uh whatever holiday it is, he would navigate down the nave, out the door, to the Nile. And he would, they would even sell up the river and perform the ceremony at other temples, okay? And so let me move forward so y'all can see that. This is a nose, okay? That nose, would, there would be a statue. You understand? That's symbolic to the sanctuary of the, of the God. So when you come in the temple right here, you come all the way down, you come all the way down, what will happen is, the God will be in the innermost wall. If you come into a church and you open the door, then Jesus will be in the in the inner on the innermost wall behind the priest. When you come in the Egyptian temple, you can look all the way down and you see right there Abu Simbel. The God will be in the innermost sanctuary. Okay, they got that from Africa. The whole design of the church is Egyptian. The whole design of the cathedral, the cap, even St. Peter's Basilica is on the Egyptian uh, temple blueprint, okay? Again, showing you the notes, okay? In there where exactly where St. Peter's throne is in the church is the same exact place where the notes or the statue of the deity would be in the Egyptian church. And matter of fact, the, the throne is nothing but the notes. It's just, uh, uh, you know, at that in that particular church, it's a little larger than what would be in the Egyptian temple. Now, when you're looking at, this is the church of Notre Dame. This is a Catholic church. You can obviously see the two pylons in the church design, okay? Showing you that the Catholics, which is the Romans, is just like the Greeks, is stealing up out of ancient Egypt, okay? And this is the so-called Ishtar Gate of Mesopotamia. That shit don't go back to no Nebuchadnezzar, none of that. They just built that shit two days ago. To make it, that's what you call embellishment. Now the Nubian temple pylon, they put a little something on the top of it, but they got a whole lot that don't need no, you know, to be reconstructed to show you exactly where it come from. Now you look at now you see the pylons up front of the uh, the basilica. I'm gonna show you the rectangle design of the church, of the basilica, of the mosque. Even when I showed you the Hindu temples, all temples in the world are designed after the Egyptian temple. It's the mother temple. So you can see the rectangle, that's the Church of Notre Dame. You've already seen the pylons up front. Now you see the rectangle, which is also the uh, blueprint for the Masonic uh, Lodge. Okay, so this is Menahab book, Menahab Habu. You can see it from the aerial view. Okay, now this is supposedly uh, the Temple of Solomon, okay, to show you that is the same design. Okay, you got with the altar at, that's the court up front. And then you see the holy place. And then at the very end, you see the ark. You see the ark. This is where the ark of covenant is supposed to be. But see, that's where they got the ark of covenant from. 
from the Ark of Heru, the Ark of Ra, the Rock, the Ark of Osiris. How the hell you got an ark? Where the ark come from? It come from ancient Egypt. Okay? So you look at the bottom, which I got out of a Masonic book. It says, why is the large floor an oblong square? An oblong is a rectangle because of its measurements, east and west, 360 degrees, north and south, 180 degrees. Okay? Half of that. That's a rectangle. So now this is supposedly a ground plan of old St. Peter, okay? And when you take that ground plan and put it in that, now I've never seen old St. Peter, okay? That's the basilica they said was there before the basilica you see today. The basilica that's there today, St. Peter's, was finished in 1626. They started it in 1506 and they completed it in 1626. I have no evidence whatsoever that there was a church of old St. Peter. But the blueprint that they do provide shows you that this uh, basilica was uh, formulated on the blueprint of the ancient Egyptian temple. Okay, so at the top, again is a basilica which is a, a a cathedral a basilica that's catholic okay you got orthodox too the only it's the same exact as the egyptian temple the only thing they did was remove the columns in the middle that's all that they did to take the column out of the middle that's where they got the basilica and the cathedral today okay you see uh God, man, you see him with the right angle. He's taking his oath. You see his phallus is erect. That means he's taking, he's testifying. He's taking his oath, okay? And a lot of sisters say they testify, but a sister can't testify because she don't have testes. That was the oath of a man. You see what I'm saying? And you can see right there that, oh, Jesus ain't got no phallus. You see what I'm saying? He ain't got no testes because he's a homosexual. You see the baptism taken from ancient Egypt, okay? Used in Catholicism, used in uh, the Catholic, uh, uh, the Christian church, all taken from the ancient Egyptian spiritual system. You see right here uh, what they call cop. You understand what I'm saying? When, which is also given praise. And you see the sun above the head of shoe. That's God's shoe. You see the sun above the head. In Christianity, just like God, Goddess Isis was demoted, taken out of the Trinity, you see that the sun was brought down above, behind the head. It's not above the head. You understand? It's down behind the head to give you the illusion that the, uh, the power and the authority is emulating through the image, that the power is coming through Jesus, the fake image of Jesus, the fake image of Serapis, see, stealing the power from the true deity, which is the sun, okay? Again, showing, and in this one, you can even see, see to the left where he got his knee bent. You see, this, this, this Catholic, this Eastern Orthodox, when I say Eastern, Eastern Orthodox, Today, that's the original church that was started at Byzantine, okay? When, the, you know, it, it came a time when after the, uh, the fall of Byzantine, and that's when they took power back. The fall of Constantinople was in 1453, and that's when Rome seized power in Catholicism. But the church of Constantinople, or the the Christ, the uh, the uh, the Serapis worship of Constantine, the power, the seat of power, was in Constant Constantinople, not Rome. Okay, again showing you that they've taken everything that they got up out of ancient Egypt. That's why I had to start with the Alexandrian worship of Serapis, even taking the hook. You understand the the flail, the the crook and the flail. 
Okay, they, so you see Jesus walking around with the flame right there. You see? Now let's read this. This one Wallace Bug to show you that Osiris is African. Got to go deep. Got to go deep. So when they took, uh, they took, wait a minute. They took Osiris. They took Osiris. Let me let me let me, let me make sure we, we good. All right. We good. They took Osiris out. They know why they was taking Osiris. This is what uh, Wallace Buzz says about uh, Osiris. Now listen to this. It says modern Sudanese beliefs are identical with those of ancient Egypt because the Egyptians were Africans and the modern peoples of the Sudan are African. So you got the, you got the white boy right there giving it up. And it says right here, uh, in the divinity and immortality of the God man Osiris lay the strength of, of the power which he appealed to the minds and hopes of the Egyptians for thousands of years. We shall see in the course of the following pages that both those conceptions of Osiris are of purely African origin and that they were in existence long before the dynastic period. Okay, showing you that. So you got to see when they come up, here you could, you're Catholic. You see, this is your Catholic Jesus. And you see him right there, emulated. You understand when Serapis became, became uh, uh, the crucified image of Osar became the crucified image of the created creature, Serapis. That's all that it is. And you see these popes right now with the crown of Osiris on, Immolating him, okay? Immolating him to this day. And we just read from Wallace Budge that he's purely African and was in existence thousands of years, even before Egypt. Even before Egypt, Osiris was a god. So you talking about that the the, the popes don't come along into the dam, you know, and turn around, you know, where the papa of, of Hagar Sophia was the Pope at that time. So you didn't get no damn Papas until like 500 AD. And that was in Constantinople. And you didn't get no damn Popes in fucking Rome until after the fall of Constantinople. They lied to you, okay? They lied to you. Really, Catholicism in Rome start with St. Peter's and it wasn't finished until 1626. How the hell you gonna have some popes ruling in Rome when Christianity was outlawed until the time of Constantine in 13, 313 AD? Okay, again, showing you, even Jesus land in the mummified state, even though you can't find a uh, Serapis land in the mummified state of the kings and queens of Africa, you know, even the common. Africans was buried this way, you see? And so you see Dionysus, you understand what I'm saying? Immolate, you know, immolate the, the great God Osiris. Now, they show Jesus at the bottom, Serapis, mummified, okay? He was mummified, but they ain't found the mummy yet, okay? You got mummies all over the world from ancient Egypt still in damn near perfect condition, and so if you knew mummification, all the, the only question I'm gonna ask, where is the mummy? Okay, again, showing you the mummies at the top. So they showed G because Osiris was a mummy. Okay, when you see Osiris, you know, he's mummified. He got the white, uh, he got his white garb on. That's a mummy mummified rapids. Okay, and not only Serapis, you know, showing you that they took a whole lot of deities and Romanized, okay? You see uh, that Amun, who was the black god sacred to the ram, you understand they created another white deity that they called Zeus Amun, okay? Not just Serapis, you see him with the ram horn, okay? So they going through Africa, you see I'm a black god, just like Osiris, okay? You see him black, and the ram was sacred. And so again, they took, and, now, and took Amen out of his own religion and took the ram, which is sacred to Amen, and created a demon uh, 
a demon called Zeus Amma. And so this is when the Ram of God became the Lamb of God, another Serapis, another damn Serapis. And you see right there, Asar with the Ram horns, he's, he's the rising sun. So we resurrect through our son, just like Osiris is the resurrecting son, the S-U-N. He resurrects as Heru, his son. You see what I'm saying? And let me move. And so you see that Serapis is a composite of a whole lot of deity. Jesus, you see Jesus at the right with the uh, lightning coming out his damn hand like Zeus. So when we say, oh, his name in Spanish is called Jesus, and this is in a cathedral. This is in a, a cathedral, a Catholic cathedral. And you see the, the lightning coming out his hand just like he's Zeus. Okay, you see the lightning in, in in the other part of the uh of the uh the the uh the icon. You see what I'm saying? Showing his connection to Zeus, and this is the other crown uh uh of the Pope, which is the the crown of Dagon, showing you that the Romans took from wherever they conquered and they threw it all together. It's not just is is Egypt the main part of they uh they thievery but they also took from the persians they also took from the greeks okay they took from the greeks they took from the most of it from ancient egypt but they also took from the persian so the other hat uh the crown was the crown of osiris and here you got the crown of the fish god dagon okay and you see that the hat of showing you from Persia, Mithra. Okay, you see that so so called Saint Nicholas. His hat is the hat of Mithra from up out of uh up out of Persia. Okay, and you see right there, you see the Pope. Now a lot of people think, oh, he got on Santa. No, he ain't got on Santa Claus hat. Santa Claus got on the Pope hat. They didn't fool your ass just to show you that they controlling Christmas, okay? They the one, because that's the day they worship Mithra, okay? That's the day they worship Mithra. You understand? The Persian God. And today, they've replaced Mithra with Serapis to Jesus Christ. Now, this is Constantine's arch in Rome. I want y'all to see this, because they say that uh, Constantine was the first Christian emperor. Okay, say he was the first Christian emperor, knowing that ain't no Christ yet. You understand what I'm saying? He's the first Catholic Serapis emperor, but there is no Jesus. But at, on his arch, on his arch, he got Mithra. This is you can go right there to Rome and see he got Mithra. He got no, not one writing of a Jesus on his arch. Okay. So when people say he was the first Christian emperor, how do they prove that? How do they prove that? That's embellishment. Because again, like I said, when you go to his arch, you will see that he got uh, Mithric priests, my guy, on his damn arch, right there. And so the Eucharist, as we said with Ptolemy, you see that that's also in the uh, Serapis, uh, Catholic uh, religion. And the Eucharist is the cup and the wine and the body of Christ. And we already know that that's cannibalism because the wine represents the blood and then the uh, the uh, biscuit, the little, you know, the little bread represents. So you got vampires, you drink blood, and you have the, you know, you're eating the body of Christ. You see what I'm saying? And so you can see that Jesus is also, this is Roman, huh? This is Roman, am I in the house? You see I'm in the house? Okay, I'm in the house, okay, it went out. You see that Bacchus, and Jesus say, I'm the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. You see what I'm saying? And my father is divine. You see that the grapes is symbolic to the Roman god Bacchus. Okay, so they 
the Romans has got a whole uh, cauldron of religions and spiritual systems mixed in the one. They, you know what I'm saying? This is Catholicism. That's why you could go right there and I'm gonna show you what they got in the base. And I'm about to go to that in just a minute. Showing you that the, the Eucharist, you understand what I'm saying? Showing you that the savior from the Ptolemy worship of Serapis became the Eucharist of the, the, the Roman God, Jesus. Okay, the fake God that would be created in Constantinople, the Eucharist, which was in, in Serapis worship, it was taken to make what today is the Eucharist of the Roman Catholic Church. You, you see right there uh, what we call, and we know that's Hippocrates. Okay, that's Hippocrates. That they didn't take the white baby Jesus from hey the black hey Ruth. They took the white Jesus from Hippocrates. They Europeanized Isis, uh, Osiris, and Horus into the white Isis, Serapis, and Hippocrates. And Hippocrates, like uh, uh, Pharaoh said, is nothing but uh, different representations of baby Bacchus and Eros. Okay, that's all that it is. And you see Eros, uh, uh, Bacchus right here, as a baby turning up a goddamn half a gallon a wild Irish road. What the hell is a baby drinking like that for? Because they was intoxicating them damn babies and having sex with them. And they show you that shit all through uh, the uh, Roman, Greco-Roman uh, deities. You know, showing them with the babies out there, half naked, playing around, this, that, and the third. Okay, and so the Catholic Church is no nothing but the modern representation of the Greco-Roman deities. That's all that it is. Okay, and you see Bacchus, okay, and, and you see him with his son. You know, both of them got grapes in their head. That's his son, Comus. Okay, that's his son, Comus. And you see him right there in a pedophile state. Okay, so the priests today are nothing but the same representation where they're messing with, and they've been doing it for over goddamn 3,000 years. As long as the European been on the scene, he's been the same goddamn way. Okay, let me keep it moving. Now, you see the Moses, supposedly that's Moses. They're going to tell you that's who that is. Okay, that's in the Vatican. That's in the Vatican. Okay, that's in the Vatican. The one we, which, which you call Moses. And you can see it, nothing but pain. That's all that it is, is pain. The one to the left is pain, and then you come to the right, they're going to tell you and me that that's Moses. Okay, and so that's. That's paying right there in uh, the Vatican right now today. Now, let me go to the top. I'm going to work out on this. I'm going to come back down to that. 